Good evening. Oh, Patrick yeah. Jones, Elizabeth, New Jersey. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I come in front of you as just a simple Union County resident. Uh, I have a statement here. Uh, two Sundays ago, in front of my building on Cherry Street, a group of motorcyclists came by. They didn't have Harleys. They didn't have Hondas. They had ATVs. They had four-wheelers. They had motocross bikes. They had mini bikes and every other probably bike that's illegal that you can drive. There had to be at least 50 to 70 of them. It took about 15 minutes before they passed in front of the thing. They had absolutely no regard for safety of motorists that were coming down the street. They had no regard of the, um, the pedestrian crosswalk. They had, and they just kept going all the way up Cherry Street. This is not the first time that it's happened. This, it's happened several times last year, and now it's, it's happening again this year. It's only the beginning of the summer, and I don't know how they get together, but somehow, either through social media or through whichever way they get through, but they start from one point, and they just keep going at all. Someone's going to get hit. They go through the lights. They go through everything. You're gonna, there's going to be a motorist. It only takes one person. There's going to be a motorist that's going to go through, not realizing it. Maybe there's a gap between the, the motorcyclists. They're going to hit and kill somebody, or they're going to do damage to the motorists. That they, they have already ruined two of our pedestrian crosswalk signs in front of the thing, which is probably two, three hundred dollars that it's costing either the city or the state. You know what I mean? Or the county, because these are state roads. 27 and Cherry Street is considered state roads. So this is just not the city problem, this is a county problem, everything else like that. Now, in New York, this is a proposal that I even threw out to uh, a couple of councilmen in Elizabeth that New York has it where Mayor Adams did it, where it's a $1,000 fine for any gas station that doesn't, that gives gas to a motorcycle or motocross without a proper legal license plate, okay? Second is that now I know the cops cannot chase them because there's some kind of law that they're not allowed to chase them, but they can follow them. Sooner or later, they're, they're going to span. They can catch one or two. Even if they catch one or two, it may send a message. Give them a $1,000 fine, take the bike, and also give them a, whatever motor vehicle violations they did, let them pay for that. Then they get the bike back. If it happens a second time, then it's $1,500 and pound the bike for 30 days and then turn around and um, make them pay the $1,500 plus all the motor vehicle violations, because I'm sure there are a few of them, and then 30 days. If they get caught the, the third time, take the bike from them completely. If it's not legal, take the bike, sell it, and auction up and put the money towards the county. And that, that's my proposal. Thank you very much. Thank you.